Oh, good morning, guys. Um, my name is Benga Ajit Mobi Manel, and I'm a 3D generalist. And um, I'm recording these videos based on the request uh, I've gotten, you know, with time, uh, whereby people ask, you know, what software I use for a particular project. And for a while, I've been trying to, you know, kind of avoid these kind of questions, not in a bad way, but I expect people to like, you know, do a certain research and stuff so that they can like, you know, get to know what all these tools are. I believe there are some other important questions that you can ask, you know, rather than asking what software does something. So um, at the same time, I thought about it and like, okay, well, maybe the kind of information that I expect people to have, uh, you know, they can't get through to it. So why not just create something uh, that can, you know, enlighten anybody out there that is just getting started and thinking of uh, what tool to use in any way. So uh, this will be record I will uploaded on YouTube. So and I'll, I'll be creating more videos, obviously. Uh, so you please subscribe so that you can get to see more of these videos if you like it. Along with the software, I'm going to be talking about you know uh, system requirements. You know I, I'm going to just join system requirement to to the topic of software. For those of you that wants to like get the system to use. If you are a beginner, I don't really think system, uh, a big system, expensive system is the way to go. If you have a budget of between 100,000 to 200,000 Naira, you can still get a system that can get you started. When I actually started my career, I, I started with a system of 512 RAM. Though those years, the, the version of software that we use are not really that powerful. And they don't chop uh, RAM just like these ones they do. So, but the point is that you can still have a system that is not too gen gen, and then you can still use it to get things done. The kind of system I would recommend for a beginner, a system with eight gig of RAM, you know. So when when you buy a system of eight gig of RAM, definitely the, the speed has to you know be very nice too. So you have to consider speed too because of animation timeline. You know, you want to play back your animation or your or on your timeline and you want it to be smooth so that you can get to see the timing and correct one or two things there so the the ram is important in order to be able to carry your software uh, uh the software itself but <clears throat> when you start to do animation the speed of the system you know has to like be able to like con i mean be able to contain the animation on the timeline so that, that those are like the two things i can actually think it's very very important but if you if, if the system has a graphic card you know it's an advantage so you can use this system to get started and you can use it for like maybe two years or so you know before you can actually be thinking about an upgrade so that's just about that about system i'm going to write some things on the screen you know yes, maybe some system uh, configurations i might put my own system configuration there too so that i can see and you know you can get something from there so and um, and the softwares the first thing i want to say is that when you see somebody that that do something you know that makes sense fantastic awesome you know i don't think the first thing you should think about is what software you know does this because if you think that way you imagine that okay it's the software that just get the work done you know maybe they just put one or two code and then you know kaboom everything comes out no not exactly so there are so many efforts that goes into 3D animation, you understand? And the software is actually not something, you know, the software enhances, you know, output, fantastic output, but it is not like the major, major thing, you know, it is the creative itself, the person that does it, the, the stuff, you know, is one that actually says, okay, this is what I want to use to do this one, and this is what I want to use to do that one. So there are like many softwares that you can use you know to to get things done so i'm going to like i actually i, I had some things written down so that I, I won't forget um i'm going to mention some softwares and that you can use that you can consider depending on many other things so i have one or two uh things that you can consider while you're picking the software the software that i use for my production my workflow i have a couple of them but there's only one basic uh, 3d animation software you know itself but I have some other subordinate softwares that I use along with my 3D tool. So I work with Maya basically, and there's a reason why I, I picked Maya. I was in this, I was also like at a stage where 
I, I wanted to like, you know, started, I, I wanted to like do 3D and I was looking for different tools. And, but the most important thing I was looking for then was why are people using one certain tool? Why are they using the other one? So I'm going to like, you know, enter into that, you know, once I have mentioned one or two softwares that you can use. I use Maya, Autodesk Maya. I know some people that use these, um, Max, uh, Blender, um, the Cinema 4D, they are like, if you put it on Google now, like, okay, 3D animation tools, you just, like, have a lot of them, you know. Uh, I, I know a lot of people that are using uh, Max and they do fantastic stuff, you understand, like, they create stuff that are actually awesome, even compared to some people that actually use Maya, so it's more about how they know this tool and how they can use it to get something done, and, you know, recently, Blender is doing uh, very, very well, like, People are using Blender to do awesome stuff that me that are using Maya, you know, actually be like, wow, this is this is good. You understand? So you can use Blender, you can use Maya, you can use Max, you can use Cinema 4D, and so on. So now the things that you need to consider while you're picking the two. Uh, the first thing is like, what are your goals? What do you want to do with this software? When me, I wanted to do it. Uh, when I wanted, like, when when I was starting back in the day. My, my thing was that I wanted to create character animation, basically, like, I want to m make something move, animate something, create a story, blah, blah, blah. So that was my uh, goal then. So when I was even looking around, reading information and everything online, that was my focus then. So Maya was the talk back then, so I'm like, okay, there's a character animation, you know, Maya is very good with character animation, so I'm going with Maya. So you have to understand that, okay, this is what I want to do. Like for instance, now if you want to be like a motion graphics, uh, uh, you know, artist, you want to create motion graphics for TV and, and all that, you know, you might need to consider using Cinema 4D the more, you know, rather than using Maya or something like that to, to achieve. Because I think Cinema 4D has a very good um, uh, setup for motion graphics and it has a great connection with uh, uh, After Effects and all those other uh, softwares that they use, you know, for that. So all these things you have to like be able to figure it out. Okay, this is what I want to do. You have to sit down and like, okay, I want to learn animation, but which direction am I headed? Um, maybe in the future I might make a video, you know, where you can like I can tell you one or two things about each of these aspects because 3D animation is a big topic and it has you know many uh, uh, many many branches. So and if you are a special, if you want to be a specialist, there are some things that you just just pick one of these. You know, workflow and say okay this is my specialist and, and so on so uh, that is that your uh, uh, the first thing is your goal so the other one there is uh, the av available resources this one is very important and I, I still remember like back then in 2010 stroke 2011 when I started using Maya the first thing I, I, I looked for them was if I pick this two will I be able to see resources you know that can back me up tutorials and all that let's say i want to create a character that I do one certain thing will i be able to see that kind of stuff has anybody created that kind of stuff with this software that i'm picking so you need to really consider that like a lot so that if you go and start with another software and then you start looking for resources around and you couldn't find it and you'll be like ah, which kind of software am i using so you have to be like very sure uh so far i can't say about that tools but i think maya has a lot lot of lot of resources out there uh, character animation rigging and so many other things you can find like different uh, tutors have created a tutorial based on that you know and of course recently I've been seeing um, there's one of my friend on Facebook Genesis uh, William uh, he's, he's really creating some kind of awesome 3d max you know tutorials now for air grooming character creation and all that and then there's Lydia you know and and uh, our husband, they are there, they are creating Blender or some tutorial. So you can like, you know, get many things around these days. So be, you have to be sure, okay, that, okay, these available resources that you want are there before you now pick. So those are like um, the two things that I, I think one should really like, you know, think about before you, you pick a tool. So um, if you want any question, you can ask the question on the comments uh, box there and then i'll be sure to to get back to you and if you want me to talk about the topic um I, I will also like consider that uh, my next set of tutorials will probably be you know on the screen 
where I have to like, you know, do a screen, you know, capture because to be based on uh, maybe like uh, teaching you how to do one or two things. So this is like, you know, an introductory uh, um, thing to so just get things, you know, started. So um, I hope you guys feel this and subscribe. Don't forget and you can drop a like and then we can make more videos. Cheers.